Well, Dave, a, a big game coming up, a, a cup semi-final with a big prize at the end of it as well. What's the mood in the camp like heading into this one? Really good, um, as, you'd, as you'd expect. Um, we're in the middle of a, a really good run and we want to keep that going regardless of what competition it's in um, and, and what's at the, I suppose, the consequence of, of winning the game. It's not your only semi-final this week, of course. You had the, the Cheshire Cup game against Crewe on Tuesday. That won a, a pretty routine affair, 5-0 win. What did you make of the performance? Really good performance. Um, I think what I'd spoke to the players about, regardless of what team that we played, is we wanted to see a team that and a performance that shows our identity and our philosophy in terms of how we want to go about it. And regardless of what 11 we put out there, that's what we want to see. And, and we absolutely saw that. So we knew that playing against a team like Crew, it would certainly be a game where we where we could press because they were always going to potentially try and play out from the, play out from the back and play through the thirds um, played into our not into our hands a little bit but certainly played into a strength of ours um, but in possession some really good play great for obviously players to, to get minutes um, and put us in a really good situation going into this weekend all three of the new signings were involved that night as well Andy Cannon probably the pick of them got his goal as well he seems to have settled in really quickly early on They've all fitted in really well. Um, like I say, it's, it's it's an easy group to fit into, a really good group of lads, and it's always easier when you come into a, a change room or a building that's in a in a winning run and, and is a, a really good place to be. Um, <clears throat> they're all a little bit a little bit different, a little bit short in terms of fitness, as you would imagine, with players who haven't been um, particularly playing frequently with the with the teams they've come from. So we need to do a bit of work there. Um, but like I say, lots of positive signs. Just going back to Saturday, I mean, there's always the debate with the FA Trophy, is it a distraction to the league campaign? But top two in the National League are both in the semi-finals this weekend, that I'd suggest otherwise. Do you feel like this cup run's benefited our league uh, league form? You'd have to say yes, because it's coincided with, with a, lot, a lot of league games. What it has allowed us to do with the, with the draws that we've had is mix the team up and, and, and give lads minutes. That's certainly helped when, after every FA Trophy game, Previously, we we've had a league game on the Tuesday, and in most instances, it's quite a quite an important league game, which is which has benefited us. Um, so, I, I think it's it's a competition that probably at the very start of it, um, priority wise, is slightly lower. And as with any competition, the further you get in it, the more um, ambitious you come to. I suppose we wanting to wanting to progress and wanting to ultimately win it and that'll be the like I say, the case with us and, and, and similarly with Wrexham. You mentioned it there, in the last couple of rounds you did have those, those big Tuesday night games immediately afterwards against Notts County and Bromley. Uh, not the case this time obviously, does that allow you to, to focus more on this game solely just on winning this game? I suppose it does. Um, I, I suppose I'm not in a, um, a situation where we have been previously where, again, if I was given the choice between winning on the Saturday or the Tuesday, we'd have definitely picked the Tuesday. And we've spoken about being greedy and wanting to win both. We, we, we don't have that scenario. Our next game after after the weekend is, is, is next Saturday. So, yeah, we can have a little bit of a, a, little bit of a focus on what we want to do um, Saturday. That doesn't mean that our thinking completely changes. Um, Again, priority-wise, we still know what's more important to us um, and we won't take any risks in terms of personnel that might be carrying anything. Um, but we'll pick a team that we think can go win the game. Um, but ultimately, we'll do that with every game we play, which is now the end of the season. And just on Wrexham as well, obviously, like ourselves, in really good form at the minute, a squad full of football league quality players. It's, it's exactly what you want from a semi-final, isn't it? It should be a great occasion. Yeah, absolutely. Be fitting of a final. Um, I think before the... Um, before the semi-final draw, um, I don't, I would, we would not be wrong in saying that both teams would probably have preferred to stay away for each other and both sets of supporters would have potentially looked at the, without being disrespectful, last four teams left and thought that uh, a stockport Wrexham final at Wembley would have been, um, like I say, a huge occasion as it pans out, it falls in the, in, in the semi-final. One team will progress, one team will go out. But yeah, it's a, it's, it's a big game. So types of games you want to play in with a big prize at the end of it. Uh, just finally, it, it's the obvious question, I suppose, but two teams that are going head-to-head -head, head -to -head for the title, coming up against each other in the cup ahead of the running. Do, does the result on Saturday have any impact on the title race, do you think, or is it separate from that? Only only time will tell on, on that. From, from our scenario, um, it's a... Uh, 
a standalone event, a standalone event with a potential opportunity to play at Wembley at the end of it. So regardless, we want to win the game. Um, the game, I'm sure, there'll be things that happen in the game that certainly from our perspective and certainly from Wrexham's perspective, we'll look at um, potentially for the league game further down the line. But I'd envisage that in four or five weeks' time, whenever that game comes about in, in terms of the league, will both sides be exactly the same in personnel? I'd suggest probably not. Um, but as I say, it's for us it's a big opportunity, not only with the, the competition and the prize at the end of it, but from our perspective, we've had a great run in terms of wins. We, we won 10, we then drew one, we've now won another 10. We want to go and make that our 11th win and set another record, if you like, and the next opportunity that is, is Saturday. So we'll be doing everything we can to, to win that game. Once that game is, is out of the way, regardless of what happens, our attention will, will turn to our next league game and the eight remaining that we have after that. Dave, thank you for your time. Cheers, thank you.